I'm just trying to set the scope up at the moment to pre-focus it. The, the thing here is that I'm going to be pointing a telescope with a camera at the sun and that's something which you always shouldn't do but I'm going to wait until the last minute when the sun is very low down. So I'll wait until the sun gets really low down and then I'll review the image on the uh, back of the camera. We've got a, a little refracting telescope, this thing here. It feels a little bit um, belittled against an 8.2 metre telescope there, but it's fine. At the worst, it'll be a pretty shot, um, but at the best, we might get a hint of green flash. Basically, if, you, if the light from the sun comes through the atmosphere, um, it gets dispersed and you end up with a, what's called a green rim and a red rim. The bottom half's got a red rim on it, the top half's got a green rim on it. So if you look at the sun in high magnification, you can see this really thin line of green around it. Now, when the sun gets really, really low down and its light has to go through a really thick layer of atmosphere, then sometimes that green detaches from the sun itself and it can be hanging there just at the last minute as the sun's gone down below the horizon and that's what's called the green flash. You've done it before obviously. I've actually managed to get this from the UK um, but with a telescope every time and I've seen some pretty spectacular ones. They, to the eye they're vividly green. I would like to get a sunset shot over the Pacific. Um, I've done loads of shots around here as the, um, as the sun's been going down with the telescopes and I just want to get something for me really which I can, I can remember. So what I've done now is I've just pointed that directly up at the moon, which is in about the most awkward position it could possibly be in the sky. And I've pre-focused this at infinity on the moon. So when the sun goes really low down and it's safe for me to turn the camera around to look at it, it should be focused properly. But I will stress, I'm not gonna look through the viewfinder. I'm gonna look on the back of the screen. So if everything goes wrong, because the air is very clear up here, and it's the camera that gets it, not me. You have to have a certain amount of apprehension, otherwise you're not focused enough. I think the worst, actually I'm going to check it now, I know it's in there. The worst thing you can do <laughs> is be in a position where you, um, you set everything up and then you press the shutter button and you realise there's no memory card in the camera. Is there a memory card in the camera? There's a memory card in the camera. I'm going to check it now just because you said that, yep. I've only ever made that mistake once. <laughs> what were you photographing? Strangely enough, the green flash. And there was a beautiful one that night. <laughs> it's not long now. Probably go into automatic mode, me automatic, not the camera, and just try and take lots and lots of shots, but adjust the exposure, etc., as it goes to get the best effect. That's obviously a bit of a skill, is it? That's just something that happens over time. It's something which, you, you, yeah, after a while, you just go into it normally. You don't even realise you're doing it, to be honest, because you're just in such a panic to get the picture, <laughs> the shot. The universe doesn't wait for photographers. How's the battery looking? The battery's full. It's still quite a bright sun there. That's a test shot of the horizon very close to the sun. So I'm in the right sort of ballpark with my exposure, which is good because I can't go any lower, <laughs> any faster. The bit that I'm interested in to get hold of the green flash is the, is the last bit of the sunset. So if the first bit is too bright, because it's still quite bright here, and I don't really want to destroy a camera, I'll, um, I'll just call it and just wait until the sun's gone down far enough for me to turn onto it. Right, it's beginning to go down below the horizon now, which means that the sun's light will be getting more tolerable. Beautiful colour. That's stunning, which you can see on the scopes behind. That's quite a nice way of seeing it, isn't it? You won't be able to see this, but the sun is doing some amazing contortions.
doesn't look like a round ball. And that's because the atmosphere is distorting the shape of the sun. If you can see that with your camera, the top of the sun has detached. Will it go green? Yes, yes. Wow. That was astonishing. You got it. I don't know whether it'll come out. I hope so. That's the first time I've seen it visually. All the other shots I've ever taken of it from the UK, I've been through a, a scope. That was beautiful. Do you know what, that was a good call tonight, come down here into the sunset, wasn't it? It went vividly green, yeah. It was like a little star, emerald star on the horizon. Now the difficulty is that the exposure was wrong and it doesn't come out as green, it may oversaturate. It was a long shot tonight to get a green flash and I, I'm, I'm just over the moon, you can tell that, yeah. <laughs> I've got these beautiful telescopes behind me. Oh, that now, is that the... Oh, the belt of Venus, it just looks amazing. Well, that pink glow you've got on, on the top of the dark grey bit, the pink glow is actually the, the red sunset uh, projecting into the atmosphere. The dark bit underneath is the Earth's shadow coming up. So that's night approaching. It's like a blanket being pulled over us. So all the stars will appear as soon as that blanket is pulled over us. It may not look green in here because this is a modified camera. There, there. Whoa, yes! <laughs> Got it. You got it, baby. You got in a bit closer for you there. Look at oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look smug. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just the most beautiful thing. I'm, oh, I'm very very pleased with that. You said you photographed the green flash before. How does that one rate? This one's way better. It's much brighter, much more distinctive. The other ones have been little tiny ripples of green coming off the top of the sun, but that is a detached green flash that was hovering above the horizon, and we saw it visually as well. <laughs> so while we were in Chile at the Alma site, which was amazing in itself, and you'll see some videos from there soon, we met with one of our viewers named Dennis, and Dennis is a scientist who works at Alma. We told him all about the green flash and how pleased we were with what we captured and then he told us about a green flash that he'd seen. You see Dennis spent six months at the South Pole in darkness working a telescope but of course that means you get to see sunset at the South Pole. And sunset at the South Pole, well it's a bit different to the sunsets we're used to. It's not the sort of fleeting experience where you might just see a bit of shimmering on the horizon and a sudden flash. Everything's more elongated. It lasts a long time. And this is some of the footage that he showed us, that he captured, of sunset at the South Pole, where that detachment of the sun and the green flash doesn't last for just a fleeting second. He was telling us it lasts for minutes. You'll see and hear more from Dennis in our upcoming videos at Alma, but for now, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon again on Deep Sky Videos.